Okay, this is uh, Take On Mars, and I'm going to explain the simple controls so you know how to build as soon as you get into the game. So, to start off with, we will be plunging into Mars in the vessel that we have dropped from space. solar event that's happening is a totally random thing and so this is the first time I've had that since I've uh, played this uh, game yeah. during the descent that is I just noticed something that I never noticed before in the distance an object for me to check in all the time but on this session, I'm just going to show you the simple controls so that you know what to do. Alright, to change this camera angle, uh, you, pr you press F and then you press C to go in and out. But um, if you can't get back, oh, press double, press E twice when you're sitting in the craft like this and you can um, stand up just like this then go to the elevator controls click on that button there in cargo I was drawn to this game after watching that film, The Martian. So, um, hold on a moment. I'm just going to go to the options, just in case my voice is uh, really low. Yeah, just be on the safe side. So I'm going to just reduce the uh, music volume a little bit. Just, just so that I can make sure that you can hear what to do. So let's return to the game. <clears throat> if you right click the mouse, you can bring the point up like this and left mouse click to activate. You right click the mouse to take off the pointer and then you can move the mouse around with them freely with your head and you know it's really good. In fact, if you get your um, tool out, which is the Q button, and then use your roller button, you can zoom in into the distance and you can see the camera zoom on the right hand side that there's a, a cargo drop right there that, that's my mission to go and get that and build a shelter to shelter me from the radiation from the sun and a place for me to charge my suit so off I go <sighs> Come on, let's let's run. As you can see, as I'm oh yeah, uh, to run, you press the shift button and that runs. And if you're operating this by um, keyboard, it's the usual W forward, S backwards, <coughs> A and D, left or right. Okay. So, I change the view just there. You press C, and it comes out. Press. See again, and you can rotate round your target as it's running, and you won't change direction. Um, but then, um, <laughs> then you press F when you want to come back to the, to the face. And um, sometimes, if you're on free rotation mode, you can't actually zoom into your first-person perspective because you need to press C to bring you back to this back view like this, and then you can press F and go back into the helmet so you can see from first person perspective. I'm actually going to leave that buggy there. I know you're wondering, cool a buggy to drive, but believe me, that buggy is very slow. I can run faster than the buggy, 
and right now I am I'm against time and like I need to save as much as I can because I'm gonna try my best to assemble <coughs> my base before my oxygen runs out so that's uh, another reason why I'd like to get there as soon as possible Isn't it awesome? On mods. Yeah. It's fantastic. Feel free to forward this if uh, <laughs> you just want to get to the scene where I'm <clears throat> building. Uh, so this is all on here for for the people who just like to relax and just watch it. and get some more one in them. Come on. Here we are. We have suddenly entered the area of where we will get our first item that will help us in our quest. admire that. Oh, hold on. I um, I just had to go and check check the oven, and uh, I'm I'm back again. So uh, sorry about that. And there we have it. Our first item, the. 3D printer. Okay, now we need to try and find somewhere flat to put this out. So, I guess we're going to have to scale a bit of this hill to get to a flat area. Yeah, you know, it goes way up when you're running, holding something this heavy. 31.9 kilograms. Well, I know how, how heavy that feels. Hey, this this uh, looks kind of flat. Let's now we need to press we need to turn it around, hold down the R button and move the mouse left or right or forward or backwards, and uh, you can rotate. And also, um, if you put if you press the Q button to get your tool out, it will show a ghost of the point where you can and a screwdriver like that, and you left mouse click and it will place the printer into the ground mm. 
Okay, first thing we want to print on this 3D printer is another 3D printer. And this one takes about a minute to print, so we'll just have a little look around. Hmm, we're actually near some precious rocks right there. Maybe that would be a great place to do um, mining. Wow, look at this, all these atoms being assembled to create this the next 3D printer. Pro probably being built by little tiny nano robots. Okay, I think it's about bait. I'm ready to use. Come on. Come on. Stop keeping me waiting. That's it. Let's just plonk it down. Right here. There you go. Not too far away, also. Uh, also, it won't be worth uh, all that extra effort. Hmm. There you go. It's assembled. Remember, you just uh, left mouth click that while you've got the gun. It's dead easy to forget to remember you need the gun out, and uh, I, I fell for that for a few times. Right, yep, we're going to print some platform bases, so uh, on with the progress. <sighs> this um, scrolling through every object thing um, is a bit annoying because they could have done with doing categories instead of flickering through everything. Sometimes you can, if you go very poor memory, you can end up flickering through everything where you could have just went the other way. But you know, um, there we go. We just went past what I wanted. Yep. No, I should have went the other way with the arrow when I'd have got to that. Uh, even earlier, but the thing is, I have a tendency to, uh, when I've gone a bit too far, I kind of have a tendency to carry on. So that that's awkward, I know. Okay, let's f let's find a nice sp spot to plonk this down. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think that I think that will work. Okay, let's get going. Let's make progress. I'm just putting that on there for a moment, whilst I get another one being printed. So, yeah, it's best to be a bit resourceful when you're um, doing this, and when you're you're working against time. There you go. That's the way to do it. Left mouse button. That works. Okay. Left mouse button. Whilst you can pick that up without the gun, but you wouldn't. You will need the gun when you want to place it, so remember to press Q to get that back. There you go. That's the way to do it. Construct. Hmm, I'm making some serious progress.
Perfect. Oh, and by the way, that breathing sound is actually coming from the suit. I'll just probably let you know that. Hmm. Okay. I'm wasting time by steering over that direction. When, uh. Oh, look, that is definitely wasted time. I waste time so you don't have to. Yep, this is it. We need some floor panels. I might as well print floor panels when I, when I do this. Okay, let's get back to the printer and get printing. I know, I think it, oh yeah, it is a good thing. Um, if you want to do um, doorways with airlocks, for airlocks, uh, then um, it's best to do them before you build any walls or roofs. Because uh, they have a tendency to have difficulty slotting in so yeah it's best to do that so oh I went past that's it that's the one we want a beautiful okay I'm gonna put this one down here first because um, I've got the door way printing so that can like fix onto that and that'll be awesome. Hmm. Okay. Construct a legend. There we are. You can tell this is heavy. Sixty-three point nine kilograms. Wow. Takes a bit longer to uh, move this item. And uh, if you hold down the R button and the Alt key and move the mouse left or right, you can turn objects left or right, which comes in handy. So um, remember that um, Alt and R let you go left or right with the object. Um, just R lets you go up and down and they should rotate the object, which is kind of good. Look at that. That's the most wisest thing you can ever do is put that door there before you do the walls, definitely. Okay. Yep, that's the way to do it. Productivity. Whew. There you go. That's the way to do it. Money for nothing and chicks for free. There's one thing about this doorway. Sometimes you don't know where if you got the doorway the right way around. Or maybe um see this the door's not like going in, is it? It's not highlighting a, a ghost where you can fix. So it looks like I'm gonna have to rotate the door uh using the R and Alt button and turn the I uh mouse left or right to turn it. There we go. And if you use the roll button on your mouse you can actually make objects go forward and backwards from your perspective. Which comes in handy in a few locations where it's hard to, to reach. <coughs> okay, let's construct another airlock door. Nice. 
this one. Lean that there a moment. Hmm, wasting time again now, man. Daydreaming. So, you've got the general idea, all I gotta do is uh, <coughs> just add these items, oh yeah, um, and just do what I said with the, uh, the R button and the mouse to move, and the, uh, and if you hold an Alt and R, you can rotate objects left or right so um, I I know I've said this a few times but I've seen it just in case anybody has decided to skip forward and uh, and so that the information is led on to the person who's looking for that advice so please forgive me if, if you hear me repeat myself but the reason is genuine Okay, here we are. This look, you can just use the R button to do that rotation, and then R and Alt will let you do that. Simple as that. And then just oh look, it's not right. I'm gonna just use the um, R and Alt to turn the object sideways like this. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to use um, just the R to get that. Yeah, the R and the mouse. Let's me tilt it that way, and there you have it. Looks like this one's just an R and Alt and a mouse to the left. Just like that. Simples. Oh gosh, that that went a bit um pear shaped. But don't worry. I'll try again. I know I've got the item leaning in there. <coughs> <coughs> That, that's probably the cause but it's there ready for me when I've uh, do, done what I want to do oh dear my Siri is just listening to me this then I didn't even say it it's, <laughs> it's, <coughs> huh, it's weird my phone just says interesting question stupid could be stupid. Hmm. As it's, it's quite annoying when the, my phone thinks I said, "Hey Siri," and then <laughs> oh, oh gosh! <laughs> now my my Siri is uh, listening to me. Is what we need the, the airlock suit order. The these are quite heavy as well. So clickety click, click, clickety click, click, click. Mm, okay. There we go. I don't mind if I do.
So now you've got kind of general idea. Um, I can do do it so that um, we can look a bit further into the video and watch progress in it as it is. So let, let's get forward a bit more. There we are, made the other doorway, the one that hasn't got the floor panel connected to it. So th this is going to be a pretty tight fit. Not uh, only just there we go. Perfect. Let's grab this and rotate that with the R button hold it down and move out to move the mouse downwards to make it rotate that way. Oh, clumsy me. Butter fingers. I like them floor corners, nice and smooth. Hmm, I'm gonna have to lift this up here like that. Then. If I hold that down the R, move my mouse sideways, and then it looks like I might have to turn this around. No, 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 it's, fit, it's fitting, but it's opening the way, yeah. I'm actually happy with that, look, because I know it opens inwards, but it can come on all the way in here, look, and and you, you can avoid the being bumped into the door quite easily. So, I'm happy with that. I'm more happy if it going out of the way than the other, because the... Uh, ground is in the way. So, you got a general idea there. I'm going to move it on a bit for further forward. I wonder if I can play this back at a different, uh, slightly faster speed. Right, uh, Yes, uh, uh. Ooh, this is a bit of a tight one. That, that <coughs> makes a lot of sense to do that. <sighs> okay then. Um, now you've got the idea there. I'm going to move it forward a bit more so that um, you can see some more progress. If I have doing some glass corner bits there. I'm going to move this a bit closer so um, I can get the productive level a bit better and get this place built as quick as I can. I mean, it's not like I've got many minutes left and I ain't even got a roof yet. That's got to be airtight before I could do anything. Okay, let's, let's progress a bit. Let's see see what we have okay I want to get that in that corner and let's try it this way lower it it's not yeah yep yeah, it's working yep yeah. left left mouse click on that while the tool has been loaded we'll fix it in place So let, let's take a bit for, more for, for forward. Here we are, we've gone and done all the bottom corner panels and made them now nice glass 
so I would just like it to announce the mood when you're sitting there and relax. I um I pre-recorded this video in advance because um I wanted to ensure that uh, you're not going to get any um, mumbo jumbo and you're just getting to see what you need to see and, and this gives me control on uh, reducing the boredom so let's, let's forward it more let's see how much progress we've got now. Uh, 23 minutes. Okay, let's cue it more forward. Oh yeah, see these wall panels? They're a mistake to use. Um, area, area I was putting them on the wall, but later on I have to eject them and get rid of them because these panels here will not at all fix to the top of the plug socket walls which uh, I don't see why, why it shouldn't but it does ok let's move it a bit forward so I'm going to have to remove that and the other two on the other side Oh look, I've made another one here. That was a bad thing for me to do. And uh, here I have to see it being done. But don't worry about it. I, I do eject them and replace them later. Let's have a move it forward. Okay, let's have a... Oh, I already just... That's only when I just, just discovered that these were actually useless to me right there and then. Maybe in the future, then they might do it so we can, we can put them up. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to do the R and out there. I accidentally hit spacebar. Oh, oh, that that is something you don't want to happen. No, no, when you, when your time is going down like this. Um, I've actually got the alarm going on. I've actually disabled it so you don't have to hear it. But this oxygen alarm normally alerts when you've got 15 minutes left. And look, I barely, I barely finished. I've still got to put corner bits on above this bit where I'm looking now. Okay, let me let me move the video a bit more forward. Right, we've got two minutes and seven seconds left. Windows are going in. There we go. Uh, this this can be a bit annoying sometimes. You go to all this effort there uh, to put it in, and you see that it's the wrong way up. It looks exactly the same as the other side, but it's the wrong way. But this one fits. Look, fits like a glove. Oh my gosh, look look at the time I've got. If if I don't get any oxygen. In fact, I've got to get in that room there and take the outfit off before I can get any oxygen. So what you do is press the E button. No, inventory. Or E, yeah, you do E against that. 
because it's uh, an object you can interact with. I need to slide it over like that. And what we need to do now is wait for the light to turn green. Hmm. I seem to have a reason for wanting to increase this sound effects. I don't know why. As long as it's like waiting for paint to dry. Wow. It's still not green yet. So I almost completed the building before Mia was running out. So I'm just gonna just finish it off and then you can see what I built. Yep, it's green now. We can equip the suit, dispatch light and over like that. It's that simple. Open the airlock and we're, on bu we're in business. Let, let's move it a bit forward because uh, all I've got to do is put the, f um, put the them along there and put four of these up. I mean, it was it was a bit of an awkward task because look, like here, look, I forgot to equip the gun and I'm like. Hey, why is nothing happening? Oh yeah, I I even got the gun selected. So there we do. I'm gonna press Q button, and I've got the gun selected. Looks like I I had it right originally. So look, it's that simple, and it's that simple to forget as well. So. Let's let's progress a bit more forward. Whoa, it's really really awkward because anything that's prints out on the uh, uh, is it sticking through the ceiling and glitches all over the place when it's been printed. Looks like it won't fit. I'm gonna have to try and turn that over in this little space that I've got. Somehow, some way. There you go. It just made it. And this completes the build. You can put canisters onto the back of the toilet to uh, then you can use a human waste for something. Maybe fertilizer. <sighs> yeah, I guess that's what it must be. I bet, I bet um, you use that, that container from the toilet to then attach it to the feeder the, for the plants but look at that it's a nice room with a nice view so here you have it a completed um, den this keeps you nice and safe and you can fix the safe down like that and you know what 
I'm going to move this over there just so I can appreciate it more if I if I want to get rid of this 3D printer I have to take a wall away and put it outside but right now it's not a good thing wow whole oh, minute and 30 seconds for that you know what I'm gonna fast forward it I'm laying in bed <coughs> that was sitting on the printer I like, I like the way that landed you know it's sometimes nice when things aren't too straight they were slightly angled yeah let, let's go with how it came off the 3D printer that looks good enough for me This is being a little bit awkward because this is allowing us to select to sit down but not allowing us to um I forgot what I said. Um Okay, let's have, have a coffee table. There we are, coffee table. What do you mean it's a lab table? Okay, um, I guess there's no coffee on Mars, so it's a, I want to be a coffee table table. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine growing coffee beans on Mars? The be well expensive. Look at all them little f tiny flashing lights. What is it? A vending machine? <laughs> it was a bit like one. <laughs> okay, now I'm go I'm now going to show you what you should never ever do. Oh, let's go back. Never print a hydrophonic station like this, where the window is, is merged to with the object. This is bad practice. What I should have done is moved the window before I printed this. Then I would have been able to not do what I just did there. Look. It's gone flying up in the air. I've lost a, a window and a corner panel. Oh. Trust me to do it, do that. There it goes. In we go. Hmm. And then uh, I just placed that in that corner. Um, so, uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, please comment, subscribe, on f and um, share. And I'll be very grateful. You know, this this is I made this video because I found that there's not really a very simple video explaining the controls on there. So. I thought I'd do it for you. So, take care everybody, and thanks for watching.